Well, today though, it is lovely. Big changes though headed our way. Uh, big changes headed our way. We'll start to see a little bit of that tomorrow mm -hmm. with some rain chances, but yeah. really into the weekend. So get ready. Major changes are coming. Yeah, so let's show you what is happening right now in Nashville. We are under a fair sky to, to begin the morning. Uh, looking good for us out there, but a few clouds here and there. So the setup for us for today, increasing clouds. Yeah, a couple of hit and miss clouds this morning. Maybe some patchy fog in a couple of areas, but into the afternoon clouds really on the increase. For Thursday, Friday, here come some shower chances. Uh, showers move in as we go into Thursday in the actual front pushes across the area won't be widespread, but a rumble of thunder would not be out of the question for you on Friday. Meanwhile, behind this system, we're talking highs only in the 60s for the first full weekend of October. Let's show you what's happening right now. Gallatin, it is 61 degrees your way. For our students this morning, again, anybody who gets cool easily may want a light jacket or a light sweater for a short time this morning. Just remember to bring it home when those temperatures are in the mid to upper 80s for you later today. Nashville 87, Clarksville 85, 83 out of the Camden area, right around 80 to 82 for Crossville and for Cookville. Meanwhile, Nashville SC at Geodas tonight hosting Orlando at the Castle, 62 at 6 o'clock. Game time is 7.30, so you're in the 70s, and by the time that game is wrapping up, right around the 70-degree mark. Then by daybreak tomorrow morning, temperatures are going to be in the 60s. There's the morning weather map for us. Not a whole lot, but as I extend the view, there it is, Nikki D. There's the front that is on the way for the end of the week. And that's such a great perspective, Leland, because ahead of it, you obviously can see those clouds starting to move in. Today we'll see a little bit more in the way of cloud cover, but still a lot of sunshine is going to be with us as we head throughout the afternoon. Temperatures going back well above average into the mid to upper 80s. Now as we go overnight tonight, we're still going to have some clouds with us. Temperatures will drop back into the 60s when you wake up. But then by the afternoon, clouds increase, wind speed increases out of our south, and that's when we're looking to see some scattered rain showers. This particular model has it closer to around 2 o'clock in the afternoon for areas over into West Tennessee and closer to the Kentucky Tennessee state line. This potentially could be a little later on. Regardless, it does take its time and as it does move through, look how it breaks up. That's when we continue to talk about how this really isn't a huge rainmaker, but it definitely is that temperature changer. So Friday night, overnight, excuse me, Thursday night into Friday, we'll see those scattered rain showers continuing to move out. Some models are holding on a little bit longer to the cloud cover on Saturday, while others are not. Regardless, we're looking for a drier day as winds will be out of our north. Here's your super 7 day forecast exclusive to News Channel 5 to give you that more in depth look of understanding. Highs today 87, tomorrow morning upper 50s, low 60s when you wake up, 83 by the afternoon. And with winds, they'll be coming in out of our south, gusting around 20 to 25 miles per hour, bringing in that heat as we make our way overnight. Some scattered rain showers, accumulations closer to around a tenth of an inch. Temperatures Friday 77, but Leland, we really head south. Yeah, so look at those weekend numbers 68 for Saturday, 47 Saturday night, 66 on Sunday, 45 Sunday night. Could have some patchy uh, light frost along the plateau uh, going into the weekend. Then temperatures rebounding back to near 80 by Tuesday.